Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artsly. So today we're going to be talking about how to make screen captures for your free giveaway, for your page, or for your um, social media posts. So the first thing you want to do is open up your item in whatever program you use. So if you made it in Word, you can open it up in Word. If you made it in, um, I made this one in uh, Illustrator, but it opens up in a PDF. And number one, if it's not the right size high, you can absolutely, oh yeah, there you go. You can absolutely go to view, zoom, fit height right so then it's going to make it exactly the right height for you to be able to do your screen capture if you're on a mac you do command shift 4 and you can screen capture this page Boop. and i don't need that the copyright at the bottom so i'll just do that and then i would go to the next page let it load and it's very graphics heavy, but it's also super slow because I'm talking to you, right? Command shift four. And last but not least, command shift four. Now, you, if you are on a PC, I went and looked it up for you. There is something called a piece on your PC. There's a program called Snip and Sketch. And it says what happens is you're going to open up the Snip and Sketch and then you can pick portions of your screen just the way we did it in um, in the Mac. Okay, so now we've taken those three screen captures, right? I'm going to go to Canva, which is a free tool, and I'm going to say create a design, and then I'm going to say, so you can do create a design, but I'm going to just say custom dimensions, and I'm going to say like 1,200 by 1,200. That's going to give us a nice big square to work with, right? And I'm going to say create new design. So this gives me a square. Now I want to go upload those three pictures I just took. There they are, three pictures. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And they're thinking about it. This guy seems like he's done. And I'm just going to pull him over here into this frame. And you don't want it to, to get fat. You saw how it was trying to get fat and cover the whole frame. You can also just click it once and then it'll do that. There's a little turny handle down here. So this one will make this way. I want to show kind of the coolest parts of this. If you only had one page, you would just kind of make it the same size as your, like the same dimensions as your page. So you could say like an eight and a half by 11 is a little bit taller than it is wide. Um, and so this is a good one to have on this side. And then I'm going to hit both of these. I'm going to right click and say send it back because I got to find this one, right? And I could do a couple things with this. I could put this right out front. That's kind of cool, huh? And then you can see these guys in the back. Now, because mine are um, white on a white background, it does look a little weird. There's a super easy way to fix this. So we're going to put this in here. We're going to make this as big as our item is. Maybe just, eh, we'll make it as big as the item is. We're going to make it gray. So here's our grays. Send backwards. Okay, and then we can use the, the Niji bar to kind of give it a border, right? So now it doesn't look as weird. Maybe we'll put it on this side. There you go. Now it kind of has a, a, a faux drop shadow. And if you wanted to make it have not so faux a drop shadow, you could put a little bar all around it, right? Make it just a little bit bigger. Then your item. And just play around with that. Now you can't see this. I'm going to move it down. Oops. I'm going to move it down. And you can make it like 100, right? 100%. In which case then you could just pull this bar down. 
right? So we're going to make this, this side kind of skinny. Oops. And now I have to make it 25 again so I can get over to here. I want to click over there and make it 100. And there's a little arrow bar under here. And so I want to make this side of this super skinny. And then make it 50. And see how that has kind of a faux drop shadow around it? Now, I feel like that's even too dark, so let's go with another gray. We're going to come down here. We could do a little gray like this, and that's going to give you that faux drop shadow. Right? Kind of cute. Now, I like it just on the two sides. There you go. Looks fine. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. I'm going to say Control V. And I'm going to turn this to the same, you know, the same angle as these guys and say send to back. So now there's a little drop shadow on that one. And it's not quite right. There we go. And then we're going to say copy, paste. And we're going to turn this to the right angle of the other one. Now we know they're the right size, right? Because we already made it the right size. And now we're going to say send backwards. So we don't want to send it all the way to the back. We just want to send it backwards until it gets to the right level of that one. And there we go. So now we have even... It's even fancier, so we could pull this down a little bit, make it look like a real drop shadow, right? Um, so it's even fancier than, than what we would be able to do in a lot of programs. So this worked out great. I like how it goes. The reason why this drop shadow isn't on the right side is if I put it like down and to the right the way the other two are, we wouldn't be able to see it, right? It would be underneath the, um, the other one. Okay. So I'm pretty happy with this. I feel like this guy needs to turn just a teeny bit more. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to say download JPEG. Download. Yay. So now I have... that to use in my marketing, right? So that's excellent. That's how you make a screen capture of your freebie. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.